Hi everyone, Bruce here. Thanks for stopping by. Merci d'être passé, tout le monde. On va voir euh, la planète Jupiter avec Céline. Well, I got the moon last night, the strawberry moon, as I said, and it was cloudy. Did you see the chemtrails that I just posted? That was last night, abs yesterday all afternoon. Absolutely crazy. The moon did cloud over and obviously I should have got a shot for you guys. The clouds, you could tell that there were just odd formations around the moon. They came quick, obviously having sprayed all day. Nonetheless, um, Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun, for those who don't know, and the largest, they say, in the solar system. A gas giant planet, they say. I don't believe it's all gas, but with a mass one thousandth that of the sun, they say, but two and a half times that of all other planets in the solar system combined. So, wow, gas giants. These are the moons. We're going to look a little bit and talk a little bit about the atmosphere for a change around some of these moons and Jupiter. As a result of improvements from Galileo made to the telescope with a magnifying capability of 20 times, he was then able to see celestial bodies more distinctly than was ever possible before. This allowed Galileo to observe in either December 1609 or January 1610 what came to be known as the Galilean moons. Galileo's observations showed the importance of the telescope as a tool for astronomers to prove that there were objects in space that cannot be seen with the naked eye. On January 7th, 1610, Galileo wrote a letter containing the first mention of Jupiter's moons. At the time, he saw only three of the moons. He believed them to be fixed stars stationary near Jupiter. He continued to observe these celestial orbs from January 8th to March 2nd, 1610. In these observations, he discovered a fourth body and also observed that the four were not fixed stars, but rather were orbiting Jupiter. Galileo was able to develop a method of determining longitude based on the timing of the orbits of the Galilean moons. So he was then able to know in advance when the eclipses were going to occur. But seeing that a telescope in a ship, and this is a funny story, it did not go too well, right? So check up, uh, look up a celatone. It was a headgear with an eyepiece in it that he tried to develop while working in boats. Ganymede moon, one of the biggest moons in the solar system. I think it is the biggest moon. They say in 1996, astronomers that were using the Hubble Space Telescope found evidence of a thin oxygen atmosphere around Ganymede. However, it is, they say, too thin <laughs> to support life as we know it, they think, right? It's unlikely that any living organisms inhabit Ganymede. There's a magnetosphere around Ganymede, but it's the only satellite in the solar system to have one. So the largest and most massive moon of the entire solar system of all the moons, the ninth largest object in the solar system also and the largest without a substantial let me repeat without a substantial atmosphere but there is oxygen around um, around Ganymede and that's what we're looking at right now I'm sure of it and we're looking at it as close as we can it'd be nice to be able to see the sphere itself we do get glimpses of it as it's spiraling around it has a magnetosphere it's a region of space surrounding an astronomical object in which charged particles are manipulated or affected by that object's magnetic field. But there's still so much that science doesn't know. They don't even know if there's an ionosphere around Ganymede. I think all this information is going to be coming out in the next hundred years. 
just shooting this one in here this is the strawberry moon and i'll show you a short clip of what i got last night and the next video will be the entire um, shot of the full moon live footage so this is just a quick shot at 5 a.m with the birdies at 5 a.m in the morning at the same time actually as the sun was rising the strawberry full moon and to give you a teaser on the next video here's the beautiful strawberry moon of early this morning